welcome back to another video welcome back to my channel i am snesipo yoyuane for those who do not know please do not forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel if you like the content that i am making please tell your friends to tell their friends to tell their friends friends <laughs> to come and join us it is gonna be nice we are on a journey journey of success yes so yeah i will be finishing off from the video that i made um please guys finish the the videos like do not stop in the middle please uh finish them like please man please eh? <laughs> please please watch the whole video um okay we can get into that let's get to it if you hear any noises it's my child and i do stay in the student accommodation so yeah yes okay without me delaying actually the video let us go into it so yeah i was telling you guys about how i got a place to stay now it's time for me to actually bond with this child bond with the child that i didn't even have a name for and it was actually a it was actually a challenging thing because in that time in that moment um i had a lot like on my own like uh, i was blaming myself how can you like be irresponsible like that you already have a mouth to feed already and then you're still bringing another mouth you don't even work you don't hear even have finances i mean what what do you want actually but then with me being hard on myself with me blaming myself i actually took time and i prayed for god to teach me how to love myself so that i can love the child and god to teach me how to love and not to blame her not to take out my frustrations on her and not to blame her because now her father is right, right. <laughs> is is out there not even agakatali agakatali and i remember there was a lady that i met in that house she would say to me you know sine whatever you would do when you look at your child never ever blame her for the father's mistake never blame her because never like say like hurtful words to her because of the father like oh like sometimes we would say you know those hateful things it's not the child's fault it is not i would also hear like people saying that and i would also i would like get hurt like in in like when people say that it's stop it stop please stop don't make me angry do not do not annoy me guys please do not do that um that lady actually helped me like when when she used to like constantly remind me never to blame my child never to even like take so she would say like never take your phone and like shout at your baby dad like umbuzi like i know that sometimes we it's something that we do like it's something it's it's normal guys like but for me like not like constantly taking my phone and be like whenever i'm getting like nerves from my child or or when like it's like now um i'm feeling the pressure i would never like take my phone and be like okay you are enjoying your time there you don't even like helping me out you see those kind of things those things i have never done and i will never do them um i hope you also like try not if you are i don't know maybe as time goes like you would stop like those things um actually stopping you from progressing like moving forward you are still stuck you are still you are gonna be still bitter and not being able to to heal 
if I can say. So those kind of things help me. Um, I am at peace. Like if we are funa akafuni, I do not care. Even now, like if we are funa, it's up to him. With it's up to him. He, I mean, like we're talking about adults here. We're talking about people who know that benze abantuan not and then umtu zohamba. But yeah, just another. But we are not here for that. But yeah, um, it's been a journey, guys. There are ups and downs, but with the help from God, every day I can see every day, um, every day gets better. Every day gets better. Um, with me being in that house, I've met like people that are older than me who have kids that I would like watch them on how to do and another thing that i would um advise you guys never ever compare your child with with the next person's child you will be in the depression and if you will depress yourself whereby you look at your child and you're like no oh mdanam doesn't have what what and the uh, and smang mang's child has this what what the latest what what if you know you do not afford those things just stop do not put pressure on yourself buy what you afford for your child they will appreciate it and i've been doing that i know there will be times where i would buy like i don't know maybe an expensive thing for my child i know she will as uh, uh, like appreciate it but for now where i'm just doing what i have in my own pace and she still does appreciate it even now a condo just don't put pressure on yourself and another thing is that um i would see um uh, 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 the relationship that i've built with my like with the bond and god has like really really helped me um he has taught me how to love my child how to love myself how to forgive myself so that i don't reject my child from everything else that has been happening uh, that has happened that took place um it's not her fault she didn't even ask to be on this earth so i can't like constantly like remind her you don't even have a father and i'm the only no i don't do those things and i think i i pray that most parents could stop doing those things like you remind your child why i'm born they can see kids can see kids can see guys they they can see you might think that they don't take note of what is going on they can they can see guys so yeah and it's been a journey guys it's been a journey and um uh, 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 the, 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 the challenge is I know sometimes yo guys hey, I've, I, I remember having a challenges with in, in P when I get, got out of at that house so I would have like I have a friend of mine okay I won't say your name I know you will watch this video <laughs> she would like I'm so grateful for her in my life I'm so grateful for that girl from that girl from 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 i met her there in that house we have been friends ever since i remember how she would sacrifice like her last cent for my child to have nappies i remember <laughs> i remember how she yo yo um yeah that that is like a close friend of mine like I love you, friend. <laughs> I know I won't share any. Uh, I need to share this with you, Kinto. Relax, relax. I won't share everything, but um, I think like getting like um, having like the right support system sometimes help. I know we don't get that, and sometimes you feel down, and it's whereby people start thinking of killing themselves. It's whereby people start killing themselves and their children because they think there is no way out because they think I come to Funuba and like that. Um people don't owe us anything. No one owe, owes us anything. What we need to do like look up and you pick yourself up i don't care how many times you have to knock on 
on that challenge like if ikango maliwe maliwe knock on those doors if like fight for yourself to get up i remember my aunt's child she would ask me are you taking care of yourself i was like hey sana i do not even have time to take care of myself because i'm i'm focusing on this child and it's something that you we should not do like uzyekele i know a lot of people who have kids some i remember like i know it's hard especially when you don't have a finances the little that you have just know that you if you know you can spend it and you know where you are going those are my right so yeah excuse me about that i won't be long because i still want you guys to watch my content and i still want you guys to look forward for each time i am gonna be uploading so that i will i i won't share like you Gindo. it's the journey i'm taking you guys along so i was just finishing off so that i don't leave you guys like <laughs> wondering i wonder what happened in that house like that house was uh amazing i've met a lot of great people ups and downs yeah i will yeah yeah i bet uh, i learned how to love my child um it was a time it was like a, a a a place i needed so yeah so i will just with with not forgetting i rem i went back to church it was a challenging thing to do because i remember when i decided to finally go to church I remember my first day at church where people were excited, some were on their own, but most people were very much excited to see me back, to see the child. Oh, I remember how tiny my child was. <laughs> she was so tiny, guys. She was so tiny. She was so tiny. I remember going back to church. I only had, if I could say, it was just one horrible person. I remember that lady asking me if I'm married and why do I have a child. <laughs> I laughed. That's like, guys. <laughs> yeah. That's like, people should stop. People should mind their own business. And I remember I... I, I remember looking at that lady and I was so shook. You know, when you go to church, it's like, I'm welcomed, I'm loved those kind of vibes but um she was the only one who was horrible and maybe they had a lot to say but they never came to me but that lady she i was like hi bo and i remember her asking are you married and you you have a child and you are in bible school and i was like yes i have a child and i yeah i am in bible school and I just like the Koopa man she was like hey <laughs> and I remember her like she noticed that I was annoyed a bit and I just didn't say anything back and I didn't want to be like hey think about what the content but I thank God for shutting my mouth I should say the Holy Spirit shutting my mouth at that time at that instant and i remember herself like uh, as cool conversations like Puff and I'm, i also have my my own three children who and i'm not even married i was like oh, <laughs> oh all right okay and then it was like that but i want you guys like stop focusing on people people will hurt you um Abantu are horrible out there. People have a lot to say about other people, but then they don't have time to look themselves in the mirror and know that Nakala, I have my own mistakes. I have my own things that I need to deal with, but they are so quick to judge the next person. So I, I'm leaving you guys with this um, thing, Yobana focus on yourself focus on yourself healing heal that is the most important thing that I, I i want you guys to do and you love your child and never compare them to anyone so yeah i thank you guys for watching till the end 
and i hope that you did love the video and i hope that you will come back for more content i will be uploading frequently and please do not forget to subscribe comment and do share and <laughs> tell your friends to tell their friends to come back and watch if the content is not yours you can help me by sharing to the next person and please guys remember i am not promoting teenage pregnancy i am not promoting any i am not but with a young person giving birth with a young child actually making that decision of bringing a life on earth know that they do go through emotions know that they are hurting and there's a lot going on there's a there's a there are a lot of emotions that are involved so it's me wanting to know let you guys know that you are more than enough you can do it you are a wonderful parent you are good at what you are doing Till the next time, till, <laughs> till the next time, guys. I love you all, and you remember to live in light, in love, and do not forget to empower yourselves. I love you. Bye.